Okay, so today we're going to have a look at Volanta. It's an add-on application that you can connect to your simulator. If we go and have a look at their website, they describe it probably more easily than I could. Volanta is an easy to use smart flight tracker that integrates all of your flight data across all major sims. So if we go and scroll down, they give you some information. It can track the aircraft, it can track the flights, and you can connect with your friends. And as they say, this is just the beginning. So Volanta is a free download. There are some premium options appearing. So you can see at the top corner of the website, there's a premium option already. I think it's an Electron app. So even though it appears as an application on your screen, um, it's actually it will run inside a web browser. You don't have to actually have the the web browser. Uh, sorry, the application running. So if we were saying we want wanted to go and plan a flight, if we click plan a flight, we can see a blue aeroplane has appeared on the map. That is us within the simulator. So if we zoom in on that, we get more and more detail the closer we get. So this is Stansted Airport, and you can see there's me on the ground. And you can see there's we, it's asking for a call sign. So if I just put in that and a flight number, we could then put in, it knows we're at Stansted. So say we were going up to Edinburgh. So that would be EGPH. And say we wanted to add a flight plan. So we could either import a PLN file. We could type the text of our route in, or we could use a SimBrief plan. We're not going to bother with any of that. We're just going to put a text route in just to give you an idea of what this can do. So EGSS to EGPH. Save the route. So that's kind of the most simple option possible. But it would also understand, understand SIDs, stars, and waypoints. So it would draw the line across the map according to what you have keyed in or what you've uploaded if you've got an existing flight plan file. So the trick being, you see the planned route, but you can also see your track. So as if I was to take off and fly around, you would see a track forming behind the aeroplane. And that's kind of the core of what Volanta does. It records where you have flown and in which aircraft. So over time, you can then go into the flights section and you can see your flights from the past. So if we were to go and look at one of these previous flights, you can see I had a flight here where I obviously landed and then went and did some circuits or something, did some loops or something crazy. But um, you can see the track of where I flew and where it gets really cl clever is if you open the map settings, you can show it in three dimensional mode and we can rotate the map in three dimensions. And kind of in the same style as Tron, you can see the route that was taken. So you see here, I did a holding circuit before coming in and landing at, I think it's Kai Tech, isn't it? It's the old Hong Kong airfield. Yes, it is. And then you can even see the route I took once I landed and went and taxied. But you can see it in three dimensions. So you can see the route I took into the the city. I think the big skip you can see here, I had the simulator crash. So it recorded that and it didn't miss a beat. And it said, OK, we're rejoining over here and we're coming back in. Yeah, so I think on final approach, it actually crashed. So then I actually flew in. But that was my original routine. I obviously came in too high and knew I wasn't going to descend in time. So ATC that I was talking to at the time put me into a a holding pattern. So we can recenter the map and we can turn off the 3D mode. So you can do that for any of your old flights. So if you come in here and have a look we could say okay which was this flight that we did that day? And it sort of looks like a straight in doesn't it? If we go on 3D mode you can see, yeah, we're coming straight in, which is fine. OK, so what else can this application do other than just track our flights over time? If we come back out of there, if we go just map mode instead of our flights, then it won't be quite as busy. 
we can see who's running Volanta at the moment. And obviously, then you can zoom in and go and click on any of these aeroplanes. So these are planes that are in the sky right now, in the virtual sky, somewhere in the world. So you can click on any of these aeroplanes and go and have a look at them and see who they are. So this one here, NSZ9737. We can go and look at the statistics about it. We can see that's the, the actual username of the person. So we can see some information about him and how often he's been flying. We could add them as a friend if we wanted to. So then anybody you've got marked as friends, you can click on the little icon at the top right and you can see who's in the air at the moment. You can see Ichigo Air is at the moment, for example. And we can find him on the map and friends will be marked as green. So we can see there's his track and he's just taken off out of Tarblord Pyrenees Airport. So there's his aeroplane on the end of his track. So we can do the same trick in 3D to see where he is. If we recenter, get rid of 3D mode. So we can do the same thing with VATSIM. So we've got VATSIM aircraft showing up now on the map. We could do the same with IVAO, with FS Cloud and Pilot Edge. They're obviously not used anywhere near as much. Where well, it's quite clever, and I think this is the best app for doing this, you can get the ATC coverage for VATSIM. So you switch on the VATSIM coverage. Not only do you get the sectors, you get the airfields that are manned. And then if you go and click on one of them, you can find out. So this is EGLL approach, north approach. And it's the Heathrow director. And then if we go and click on this one, this is EGKK approach. Gatwick director, voice artist. And we could go and click on any of the others and find out who they are. So Zaffa is that one. This this guy is Morgan Stone. This is Will Jennings. And you, obviously you get the frequencies for the radio. So it's actually a really good way of seeing who's online in a live way around the world on VATSIM. You know, who the controllers are that you should be um, checking in or, or in or out with as you're flying around. Obviously there's a load of other things you can switch on, so you've got the major airports to show, the minor airports, they won't show up until we start zooming in. So you'll see, yeah there we go, it's just lit up like a Christmas tree hasn't it? So you're getting the minor airfields as well as the major ones showing up on the map. Um, helipads, scenery, so you can synchronise the scenery with your simulator, so if you've got custom scenery you can get it to take account of it. Um, you can load nav data. So we can see things like the upper airways, for example, like the transatlantic crossing airways, North Atlantic tracks as it calls it, fixes. Um, so if we were to start zooming in, that you're going to see a lot of fixes all of a sudden. So you can make a real mess of the map. Obviously we've switched lots and lots on, but you wouldn't normally have that much stuff on. So we can we can distill this down. So just the upper airways, for example which is quite neat, so when you're flying along you can get some sense of where you are and where the airways are. Um, labels, obviously, you can turn them on and off, so when you're doing all this, to, to declutter if you wanted to. We saw 3D mode. You can go to satellite mode as well, where you're suddenly going to see satellite scenery. You can see live weather on the map, so you can see where the storm fronts are. And you can show US sectionals. Obviously this makes no sense while looking at the UK, so let's go and turn the weather off, zoom out and go over to West Coast USA, let's go for the San Francisco Bay, and let's go and turn on the US sectional maps for the San Francisco Bay, and here it comes. So then obviously we can zoom in, and it'll take a moment for the resolution to refine the map, but there you go, so you get the US sectional maps as well. I actually prefer just the plane maps as they come. So the aircraft that show up on the map when you do start showing everybody update about every five or ten seconds or so. So it's fast enough that you can you can get an idea of where people are. Um, it's probably not quite fast enough for ATC, but that's one of the major things they are working on. The people that make Volanta at the moment. Um, one of the quite interesting things out of the box, you get any aircraft you fly becomes a, an aircraft in the database. And as you can see here, I have updated the screenshot for this aircraft. You can upload images of the aircraft into it and you can see where you have flown that aircraft, 
which is quite crafty. And then if we go and have a look, I don't think I've, oh, I have got the DC6 in here. There we go. And yeah, the only route that I've actually recorded with it was this one across the states. So let's go and turn off those airways so we can see that route. So yeah. Um, but yeah, you, you can see that, so the, I guess the idea is if you fly the same aircraft regularly, then you can go and see the exploits of that aircraft or where it was last left, if that makes sense. Um, there's also lots of challenges, so you can actually earn awards by do completing challenges. So they've kind of put some missions in, essentially. Then one of the new features is aero caches, where it requires a small plug-in in Flight Sim, which Volanta looks after doing for you. But they give you a description of something, like hidden aero cache. The first A340 flight to Antarctica landed here. So you have to go and find the place. When you get there, you will find a rotating beacon and obviously if you get cl too close to it then you can um, you can claim the prize so you can see I have completed none of them but there are 90 already for, for us to go and complete uh, challenges there's various like you know difficult approaches various things like that there's all sorts of little missions you can go and do and win awards for doing so if you do want a reason to go flying then Volanta gives you that reason but the primary use I use it for is as a logbook it's actually very good at being just an electronic logbook so I at the start of a flight I come in I set up the details of my flight and then just minimize it and leave it running in the background the thing that's quite nice once you have landed you can get the stats on your flight so we can see there was a flight I did the other day where from Beirut down to Sharm El Sheikh I think it was and you can see the details of the landing so if we go and look you can actually see a, a small dot which is exactly where you touch down yeah so I came in on the left runway I didn't touch down until very late actually but you can see statistics as well about the flight and about your landing so that was quite a heavy landing in the end so there you go in an altitude plot along the way so yes it's an electronic flight logbook with bells on basically and it's free so go and have a look at Volanta one of the th I did say I'd mention what they're doing as part of the premium program so if we pop back into the browser and go and look in premium the major difference seems to be, or at least the first thing they're doing for premium for people that pay for it, is scheduled information. So you get to see all of the real scheduled flight plans, so you can go and fly them. So this is obviously borrowing from the civil aviation industry. So you can go and borrow a real flights flight plan and go fly that route yourself. So you can see there's a fly now option there. But yes, yeah, so it's debatable how much use that is for most people. But if you're always scratching around for somewhere to go fly, this obviously lets you go and simulate your favourite airline and a real flight that maybe is just happening, or you know is happening right now. Um, so yeah, that's Volanta. It's free. Why not go and download it and try it out? It works with all the big simulators, not just Flight Simulator. It works with X-Plane and P3D and FSX. So you can connect to them. If you go into the settings menu, there's simulators and obviously you can go and connect to them and you can install the plugin that helps it do its... I think the plugins are mostly for the aero caches because obviously it uses Sim Connect for Flight Sim, for example. So there you go. Volanta. Go try it. It's great. Okay, I'll stop recording there.